What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports channel. Let's get right into it. Here to bring you an NFL trade prediction video on the Chicago Bears, young linebacker and Roquan Smith. I believe he'll be traded in this year's NFL trade deadline to the LA Chargers. And let's talk about why. So, Roquan Smith, if you don't remember this offseason, uh, wanted to hold out. And also, he requested a trade from the Chicago Bears. Um, he ended up, about a week later, after he requested a trade, not if, if even a, a week, he rescinded. I don't know if he rescinded it, but he just said he's going to be a professional. He's going to come to work. You know, um, and, and that's the best move to me, personally. Uh, the Bears, I don't think we're going to pay him long term. Uh, I think the new coaching staff, I don't know if they really vibe with Smith or just the scheme difference is a big, is, is a massive uh, dip in, in uh, play production, you know, and it, it, that definitely could be the case. You see Smith this year, he looks, still looks good, but not as good as he did in, in a 3-4. The Bears, who uh, their, form, their new coach came from the Colts, they they took over the Colts scheme, and they're running now with a 4-3. Uh, so uh, Smith in a 4-3 isn't as good as he was in a 3-4 his prior, what, 3-4 years. He looks a lot better there, so I believe he'll be traded to a 3-4 oriented team. And that's the LA Chargers. They need him badly, and I think they're uh, they're the, the landing spot, the number one landing spot for me, uh, for Smith, for a couple reasons, especially because first they're uh, they have that they have that three four scheme Smith is better in. Uh, two, they need uh, some run defense immediately, some help in that area, and I'm surprised. You know, they brought in those D tackles uh, this off season. Um, you know, I thought they would have helped claw the lineup a little bit better, but still not working quite right. They're towards the, the uh, lower half of the league in run defense. And also, um, another reason is because Khalil Mack. The Bears just traded Khalil Mack to, to the Chargers this past offseason, you know, for a second and I believe a, a third or fourth, whatever, well, well, whatever the deal was. They just talked to this organization a couple months ago and traded and made, made a big trade so the Chargers could – Double dip once again, go back to Chicago and get Khalil, Ma not Khalil Max, excuse me, get Roquan Smith. Now, uh, there is another option there. You know, I do have a couple more teams in mind for Roquan Smith. I'm a later, I'm a put later on this video. But if not Roquan Smith, uh, the Chargers could target Robert Quinn, uh, pair him back up with Khalil Mack. Uh, Joy Bosa's out for a couple weeks now, uh, for extended time now. Uh, what is it, growing and knee? I forgot what exactly what was going on with Joy Bosa, but he always tend to be injured. But, uh, you know, Robert Quinn is available, should be available to a title contending or a playoff contending team. Uh, you know, I have did multiple videos on on Quinn since the offseason. I did the Chargers, excuse me, I did the Chiefs. I did uh, the Cardinals, a couple more teams here and there. But um, the Chiefs are still an option. The Cardinals, I definitely don't think so. They just traded. They just traded for Robbie Anderson. I don't think they're, they're in the market for Robert Quinn right now. But Quinn to the Chargers could be a, a definite move. Uh, but I would lend towards uh, going with Roquan Smith first. You know, uh, Khalil Mack and and, and uh, Robert Quinn haven't really had the best connection. You know, the uh, best best chemistry on the field. Uh, the year they played together two years ago, where they both they were both healthy for most of the season, uh, both both guys. Well, no, Mac had a pretty good year, but Quinn struggled. Then the next year, Mac was out for basically the whole year, which was last season, and Quinn had a great year, fifteen and a half sacks, played awesome. You know, so uh, going by that by that that metric, I wouldn't pair them up again, honestly, and for me personally. But uh, it might be a need since Bosa is out. They need some pass rush help immediately. Now on to some more options for for Roquan Smith. A couple teams I have in mind: the Baltimore Ravens. Kind of a tricky spot. They do have Patrick Patrick Queen, who's dang near the same player as uh, Smith. So you know that's kind of uh, kind of the feeding purpose kind of sort of. They have uh, Malik Harrison as as well. So you don't really need uh not need him, but yeah, you don't really need Smith as much as other teams do, but it would be cool to have him and Queen together. Then I said dang near the same player, but Queen has took a step back the last couple of years, I will say, but I don't think it's a definite need for the Baltimore Ravens. But they 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 are an option. I would think they would need to go for running back or receiver help first before they would go for for uh, for a Rokon Smith. Next, the Broncos, uh, they're banged up defensively as well. Uh, 
pairing him with, I, I know Chubb is an outside guy, Browning is an out, outside guy, but having a run stopper in that middle, pairing with those two pass rushers with Chubb and, and Browning, uh, that will be nice to have too. So the Broncos could be an option. They're banged up. Uh, so they're also in the mix as well. And also a sleeper, which I don't think this move will happen. It, it wouldn't make sense, kind of. It kind of would, kind of won't, but the Seahawks. The Seahawks are a dark horse team. Uh, they've been rumored to get Smith since the offseason, and they were still in thoughts to be in, like, tanking slash rebuild mode. So, you know, um, pairing him with Brooks, it, it might be interesting, Jordan Brooks. You know, he's he's kind of the, 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 the main linebacker. He's he's the guy now to go for, for Bobby Wagner. He's playing okay. But I think uh, pairing him with, with Smith uh, could be cool. You know, uh, the Seahawks, you know, they are gearing up for, for the future. Uh, Smith is still only 25, going on 26 pretty soon. So he's still pretty young. They, whoever uh, trades for him most likely will sign him to a long-term deal. So you would think, you know, you have Smith for the next, at least next three, three or four years. The Seahawks might be back on track by that point. So uh, they are a valuable option as well. So. For me personally, the Chargers are a great fit. They're the they're the most need and they're, they're, they're in the position of the of the most need of Roquan Smith services. And they have a great fit along with uh great chemistry, you would think, with the Bears organization, which they just made a big deal for Khalil Mack just a few months back. You know, so uh I think the Chargers are my number one go to team. They do have some needs. Uh a receiver could be an option. Keita Allen missed most of the season so far. You need some more linemen, which could be an option as well. So uh, those are definitely options as well. But you need to get that run defense, like, spread away ASAP. And there's not many options to do that left in, in, in the trade market. And Roquan Smith is definitely the number one guy right now who would definitely help that run defense get it squared away, pairing him with Dan Tran- uh, with, with uh, um, Danny Tranquil and um, – you know, hopefully Bosa come back probably, what, three or four weeks. Khalil Max playing well, uh, you know, so that could be an option there. The defense, for some reason, is is is, uh, is struggling for some reason. The Chargers defense have a lot of big names, a lot of talent, but it just can't get it done a lot of the times uh, for some strange reason. But hopefully a move like Roquan Smith may be, Robert Quinn or someone else I, I'm not thinking of or haven't mentioned yet in this video uh, could help them out. But they're definitely, they're right there, you know, especially on, on that defense should be in lockdown potential mode. You know, if I said that kind of wrong, their defense should be uh, getting to a point where the, the entire team chemistry is there and they could lock some teams up for a nice stretch. For week on for, for for weeks on 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 end, but for some reason they're just not doing that. It's not even getting like it's getting close, or they're getting good chemistry. You know, James has good moments. Mac has good moments. Uh, earlier in the year, Bosa was doing okay. Asante Samuel, I like a lot. Bryce Callahan's playing cool, but they can't put it all together at the same time in the same game. You know, everyone has their their moments and spurts, but we'll see what happens. I do think this move is a, a definite option. Uh, and if the Bears will be sellers, Roquan Smith will definitely uh, probably be moved this trade deadline season. So that's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.